Good morning, fellow traders, and happy hump day. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 17th, 2019. So here we are facing midweek, and the market the last couple of days has really decided to just take a siesta. Um, two very small spinning top doji or doji candles here. Uh, very small price action. Um, really light chop back and forth a little bit of um, as as the market's trying to come to grips with all the things circulating around um, in earnings and just indecisiveness here in the market um, if we take a look at what's going on here you can see we're clearly in a trend our trend is clearly up and, and a little bit of rest is is not um, any way shape or form any bearish um, look to the market. As a matter of fact, it would show considerable strength after such a amazingly strong run. No one wants to sell. There clearly, there's not much energy here to to sell this market. So, with this trend out here, we want to think about the the possibility that we could consolidate all the way over to the trend before we have that opportunity to move higher. We should also consider the possibility that we could eventually pull back to the trend, trying to seek a new level of support before that possibility of moving higher. And the reason I'm not bringing up any idea that we're going to fail, because we right now we're holding our trend. And until we start showing signs of failing that trend, we have to remain on the bullish side of this market. There's blue sky above here in the Dow. And if we were to get a significant sell-off, and it would take a fairly significant sell-off, to push us right back down in here into these price support levels in the chart. You can see we have great price support levels in here for the market to key on. So even a pullback would not necessarily be a bad thing. It all depends on how steeply it might move that. If, if this were to pull uh, several days out this way, notice that that would still maintain this trend. We just need those buyers to step in there. So a little bit of rest, a little bit of consolidation, not out of the question and not a problem. However, we do have a lot to maybe inspire the market to move today. And we'll talk about that as we go along this morning. We have lots of earnings coming out. We have big tech starting this afternoon. We have um, trade negotiations back in the news. So lots of things to maybe um, inspire the bulls or bears to uh, do more today. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Now SPY didn't hold up as well. Uh, pulling back here just a little bit, showing a little bit of resting going on in the market um, and a little bit of profit taking coming in um, yesterday in the SPY. But let's take a look, our trend, our trend overall, and by the way, I'm kind of kicking this part out as you can see, because if I draw a trend up here, look how concise that is. This was just what oversold and then um, crazy rally when we had ideas of a rate cut. So as you can see, um, this little resting pullback in here is really nothing wrong with this trend. There's nothing here that would suggest bearishness as of yet. And this little bit of resting pullback really is not a problem as long as it doesn't get too excessive. You can see we have a little price support level right in here. We could find some support in here, still go up. If we pull back even further, there's nice price support right in through this area. So if we drifted on back down into here, I still think we have upside potential in the chart. Clearly the bulls are in control. They are laser focused on this idea of a rate cut. Even though um, the president came out uh, talking about um, a real tough road ahead for trade negotiations with China, um, that they're a long ways off, and also uh, tossing out there for good measure that he's willing to do another $325 billion in tariffs. Um, that, that affected Asian markets, it's affected European markets, but the U.S. market um, chose to focus on the Powell speech in Paris um, yesterday where he sounded very dovish, um, citing once again 
global weakness and really giving the reason for a possible rate cut. So the um, U.S. market seems to be more interested in that than anything else right now and um, holding this market pretty darn bullish. So let's kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at the Q's, Q's holding up very, very well. And once again, we have this nice trend holding up in this chart now we have a little bit more concern here with the cues because the cues don't have quite as much room to be able to uh, drift lower before we could be in trouble here's that breakout high for all-time highs and as long as we stay above there i think we're in great shape if we could go sideways in here we could pull back we could really even just consolidate and i think we're perfectly fine in here um, what we don't want to see is we don't want to see a failure of that support level a push down through here could create some problems just with um, confidence in the market if we drop back below that um, uh, that record high breakout area so watch that support area but right now there's nothing in this chart that suggests that's going to happen there is a little bit of concern because we did pull back uh, yesterday and this would um, you can look at this very easily this three-day candle pattern here technically um, qualifies as a uh, evening star pattern would suggest a little bit more pullback in the chart but really the trends are holding up and once again we're kind of keying in and focusing on this idea of a rate cut and the market just seems uh, laser focused to stay up as long as we have uh, doesn't really matter i guess what kind of a rate cut we're just going to stay up here until we get one um, let's take a look at um, iwm IWM continuing to consolidate, nice little tight consolidation, continuing to hold off of this really important level of price support. And that price support runs all the way back here in the chart. So we have this relatively important um, support level in here um, on IWM. And we have a downtrend to contend with and we have this uptrend. To contend with right now we have not been able to break this log jam in here on iwm and as we know with a wedge pattern these ha have a tendency um, to uh, keep us in the dark until they finally make that break so for example what i would be looking for here if this is going to break to the upside i want to see that breakout i want to see that proof that it can hold it as support and then look to get go long on that trade if this were to fail i want to see that failure and that rally back to resistance to prove that failure um, as or prove that resistance and then I'm looking to uh, maybe short that trade so right now just kind of a 50 50 on here it's wandering in the darkness trying to find some kind of inspiration to get moving and uh, one thing is clear IWM is not participating with the other three indexes so kind of keep that in mind and watch this if, if the market does falter this might be the place to look for a short Let's take a quick look at um, the VIX. The VIX pulling back here, as you can see, and the VIX has been holding this downtrend for a long time. Here, here again, we're just showing that there's no fear in the market. Investors, traders really just believe that uh, apparently, or they're complacent, one or the other, uh, that. Um, upside is is pretty much guaranteed by the way this looks we're holding uh, very very strong down here in these low areas of VIX there's very little fear here in the market but we're going to have to watch that closely it's it's when we get down in this area when we start feeling that there's no chance of the market failing that's when we get these big spikes these big fear spikes that come in when all of a sudden something does shake it up. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely, but right now, no major concern here in the VIX, just something to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at T21, 
22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see, that four week new high, new low ratio, we've just been kind of settling into a, a range in here. Um, no one seems to really want to sell the market off. No one um, really seems to want to buy the market right here. We're taking more of a wait and see approach right now, hoping those earnings will inspire something, um, start moving us along. So what I uh, this is really telling us is if we you know just mark a line across here where we closed um, yesterday, it means that we have plenty of room for an upside move, but we have an even bigger um, open open hole here for a downside move. But right now we're holding in here good. This doesn't tell us direction so much uh, until we reach up here into these overbought or oversold areas. Right now we're just kind of dancing around here in this no man's land and we're waiting for some kind of inspiration. Just kind of key off of this that we do have upside potential um, and we also have that downside potential to pay attention to. Let's take a look at um, our... our economic calendar today. Our economic calendar does have things on here that we need to be considering. It may have something to say about where the market goes today. Keep in mind this housing starts number definitely can move the market around and that comes out at 8 30 a.m. Eastern. So prior to that market open we could see a very different look in the futures depending on how this reports. And then after that we have the EIA petroleum status report at 10 30 a.m. and we all know that oil supplies can definitely um, have an effect on uh, the market, particularly those oil companies. Um, if we start seeing a build in supplies or reductions in, in supplies, that moves that oil market around considerably. We have a Fed speaker today, another one here at uh, 1230 p.m. Eastern. And then after that, we have the beige book. And I would not expect the beige book to really move the market around at all this afternoon. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar. We have about 55 companies reporting earnings today. BAC has already reported this morning and BAC starting to come back up just a little bit. It initially reacted lower even though they beat analyst estimates um, um, on their report. Just kind of um, a muted look this morning um on that report keep in mind that this afternoon we have the kickoff to big tech earnings we have ebay reporting earnings tonight after the close we have netflix reporting earnings after the close and we have ibm reporting earnings after the close so keep those in mind we've got those uh three big techie companies coming out to report um, also, URI, um, United Rentals. Um, I kind of use United Rentals as a little bit of a benchmark for the overall market. If if equipment rentals are 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 strong and good, um, then overall economy tends to be good because we're seeing building, we're seeing construction, we're seeing um, uh, infrastructure improvements, all those kind of things. But right now, just kind of wandering around here in the dark on URI, can't really decide whether it's going to be uh, bullish or bearish just yet kind of dancing around resistance levels um, but certainly holding uh, major support levels so kind of an interesting chart so with all of these um, earnings this afternoon we could see a gap up or gap down tomorrow morning um, in the market think about that as you plan your day forward and how many trades that you want to be holding into the night because we could get that big swing that occurs um, um, overnight because of these big techs we're kind of getting things kicked off here so consider that and lots of lots of earnings reports um, and we're just going to continue to ramp up today about 55 reports tomorrow uh, around 90 or 100. We have a little drop off on Friday like we always do, but then we really jump into heavy earnings next week and it really begins to ramp up with hundreds of reports every day. So make sure you're checking the, uh, this earnings calendar against everything you hold in your portfolio and always check before you make a purchase so that you're not jumping right into an earnings report creating yourself a problem. Let's take a look um, or first if you don't mind um, 
Um, let me take a second to say, if, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, um, I'm going to ask you for a favor to click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that little bell icon when it pops up. When, when that, when you guys do that, um, um, it, it just, it, it shows growth in the can in the channel. It also shows that you maybe appreciate this kind of content. And if you do appreciate this kind of content without all the hype, without all the prediction that you find in so many different um, things out there, we're just looking at um, how the market is setting up. We're trying to focus in on the details of what may affect the market today with a thoughtful approach on how we want to um, approach that market for today without all the hype and all of the all the baloney that's out there. I'm talking about real trading all the time and being focused and uh, prepared for your market day. And that's what these videos are all about. And if you find these useful, um, please make sure and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It doesn't have to be much a heck. You can leave a smiley face and that counts as a comment. And I want to uh, thank everyone who does that. You guys um, humble me with your comments and I truly, truly appreciate that. You guys are the best. You are responsible for the growth because um, the algorithms, every time you click that thumbs up button, every time you um, leave those comments, uh, it makes an impact on those algorithms to show these videos to more people. So I thank you much for that. You guys are the best. Also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends, family um, out there. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up, charts that are looking pretty good overall in a trade. Take a look at MetLife. M-E-T, MetLife. MetLife finished yesterday with kind of a hammer pattern. That requires, for me, a hammer pattern is not a bullish signal until we get a follow through. I need buyers to follow through and push that higher. What I do like about MetLife is this nice little tight consolidation in here. And you can see how we had that similar type pattern right in here, that little consolidating move before we moved on higher. Will that follow through this time? Honestly, I can't tell you. I can tell you that I can wait for it though. And if I do get that push higher, I may be looking at a position in MetLife, but let's keep an eye on that. By the way, any charts that I show in here are not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. They are meant simply as, um, uh, as, as a study chart, a, a watch list chart, something for you to evaluate and take a look at. Take, um, with that in mind, take a peek at Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble has been a very, very strong performer here, just going up and up and up in this trend. Now that we've broken through, this was a price alert uh, for those of us in, in right way options, um, moved on up and now we've got this little bit of a resting pattern here um, today. So I would expect a little rest or a consolidation over here toward the trend, maybe even that pullback toward the trend to test support. And then we would watch for that next entry into that trade. Procter been trending, has been trending very, very well and uh, may continue. Keep in mind, uh, always pay attention to those earnings reports. I mentioned CAR yesterday, and CAR continues to uh, just consolidate here. It's been in a beautiful upside trend, um, just kind of resting um, underneath this price resistance. We're going to want to watch this. If this finally catches a little bit of love and pops on through, we could just continue this trend on higher. So keep an eye on car looking pretty decently. McDonald's tried to make a move yesterday, but ended up, it, it popped early in the day, but then ended up just kind of swinging back and forth with the rest of the market. But there's that pattern again with McDonald's where we've moved up, consolidated over toward trend, move up, and we're consolidating over toward trend. So keep an eye on McDonald's. If this um, shifts all the way over here toward the trend, watch for that potential entry signal for that upside move. And once again, remember reporting on the 26th. So you got to plan your trading carefully on these positions. Take a look at JP Morgan yesterday. JP Morgan 
disappointed investors uh, first off after their earnings report yesterday dropping uh, gapping down into here but boy they sure came roaring back yesterday so we have a big old piercing pattern here on that candle might be time to start watching JP Morgan for a potential trade and as you can see JP Morgan has this trend going on here it is entirely possible this could just wander around in here over to its trend before it goes up but let's keep an eye on this chart that piercing pattern would suggest the bulls are holding up pretty strong in here certainly holding above its downtrend those are the things we want to be watching in a chart and if we can break out of these resistance highs up here um, there's um, open space above for JP Morgan to really start moving. So let's keep an eye on uh, that. That STZ continued in this tight little consolidating pattern in here. Just can't seem to get um, too much momentum going here, but that's okay because what we're waiting for is we're waiting for this stock to move its way back over here to trend. It can wander around in here in the, in the wilderness as long as it wants, as long as it holds that trend. We want to watch for that possibility of this popping through and resuming this uptrend in stars so um, or constellation brands stz so keep an eye on that looking pretty decent here overall lots and lots of charts to maybe be putting on your list and considering one being cisco cisco breaking through we had a had some trouble here in cisco and i was watching this for a potential entry after this higher low right here I was watching this for a potential entry on a breakout up here but instead what happened we 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 tried that break and then we sold it all off and broke back down below the support so my rule is you break support the stock must reclaim that support and hold it before i'm going to be interested in buying so we finally broke back above broke back above that resistance area. Now we're going to come back and test and see if that is support. So I'm going to be watching this fairly closely, whether it pulls back and tests like this and then bounces, or whether or not it goes sideways, kind of consolidates, and then pops. I'm going to be watching Cisco for that potential trade. Um, we'll, I would expect this will have or be affected by those tech earnings so kind of keep an eye on that we don't know which way that might go but uh, definitely worth keeping an eye on a couple other trades to bring your attention to uh, tpx tpx beautiful chart been trending 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 um, popping on through this breakout here pulling back showing buyer stepping in here at support and trend there could be um, a, a nice entry here in tpx for this to move on higher so keep an eye on that and also remember reporting on the 25th so you have to consider that in your trades and last but not least best buy bby bby has just been moving up nicely in this trend breaking through these highs here and now proving to hold yesterday kind of holding that as support any kind of rest or consolidation that moves over here toward the trend could be an opportunity to maybe pick up um, a position in there so watch bby closely with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. Hey, by the way, if you if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure and click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much to everyone who does that. I want to wish you all a great day, and I want to wish you great profits, and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day.